because we've got snow coming in tomorrow night. Cheryl, yeah. it's likely going to change to some sleet and freezing rain along and east of I-95. Oh. May go back to snow Thursday morning in some places. So yeah, it's going to be a wintry mess around here. And some of you could be looking at quite a bit of snow piling up by the time we get to midday Thursday. All right, let's talk about the details with the storm. Snow will be arriving late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening from south to north. So our southernmost counties down around Emporia up towards uh, Dinwiddie County, probably starting anywhere from 3 to 5 p.m. And then it moves into the metro around 6, 7 tomorrow evening. The heaviest snow will come in pretty quickly, I think between about 8 o'clock tomorrow evening in the metro through about 2 a.m. That's when it mixes with and potentially changes to some sleet and freezing rain. So quite a mixed bag and quite a wintry mess overnight tomorrow night into Thursday morning. And as I mentioned, might go back to some snow on Thursday and could even accumulate a bit more before it tapers off Thursday afternoon. Right now it's 31 degrees in Richmond, 28 in Chester, 29 Midlothian, 31 degrees at this hour in short pump. Well, here's the storm system. It's developing along the Gulf Coast, going to push into the Carolinas. You can see the winter weather already spreading across the Carolinas from uh, central and western North Carolina. They're getting snow or South Carolina rather into North Carolina and notice this precipitation not making a whole lot of northward progress at this point. So today we're OK. We're just sticking with the clouds, a little bit of sunshine, particularly north of I-64. Most of us will become cloudy this afternoon if you haven't already, and it's going to be a cold afternoon before the storm takes shape. Now the storm track still looks like what we were talking about yesterday, moving up right along the coast. So again, and snow to a mixed bag, more snow to the west, a heavy snow west of I-95, potentially a foot or more in some places. Here's how it plays out. We'll jump ahead to tomorrow morning. Might actually see just a little bit of sunshine early on, but for the most part, the clouds will be thickening up and this snow will be arriving by evening. There you see a good band of snow from Metro Richmond all the way southward. This pink area is where we run into that mixture of sleet and freezing rain because as the storm comes up the coast, a little bit of mild air gets forced in from the Atlantic and that could hit up to about I-95. The typical spots that uh, rain snow line setting up along and east of I-95. This is our uh, particular in-house model that brings that sleet freezing rain a little bit farther west Thursday morning. I'm not so confident it's going to get that far west. Most of you west of Richmond will stay all snow, but notice it could change over to even some rain on Thursday before it tapers off. In terms of potential accumulation, we still feel a four to eight inch band right across Metro Richmond, although the western part of the Metro may be closer to this eight to 12 band, depending on whether it stays all snow or not, where you get that mixed bag, it's really going to pack down. It's going to be a heavy wet snow and the farther east you go, the less you get. Of course, we'll refine this forecast. Zach will be here with me this afternoon at 5, 530, 6 and of course 7. A little bit of sunshine north of uh, the metro this afternoon, otherwise mostly cloudy. 36 for your high temperature. Cold day tomorrow, thickening clouds. Again, the snow arrives by evening. Tomorrow night into Thursday morning, a real mess. Temperatures may actually jump above 40 degrees Thursday afternoon. That would lead to some rapid melting as well. Another system may bring a few snow showers around here Friday night for Valentine's.